What is going on everybody? My name is Brendan and if you don't know, I'm completely obsessed with triathlon. And if you're a triathlete, you know it's the best time of year because the Ironman World Championship's coming up in just a couple days, October 12th. It's the big day on the big island. So this is the first video in the series that I'm gonna be doing leading up to it where I talk to you guys about Kona, my thoughts of it, just give you a little bit of information and that leads us into today's video. So one of the things that I don't think that Ironman does a great job of is letting us know what professionals are in races. We have no clue. And that is kind of sucky for them as well because that means they can't really grow a proper fan base. And if you've ever watched an Ironman Facebook Live, you know they don't do a great job of letting us know who's in the race, just who's in the top 10, top five. They don't do a great job of letting us know who's struggling at the back that may perform well in the next race that we can kind of root for and hope for the underdog. Anyway, rant aside, today's video and the next few videos are going to be me kind of sharing with you who are the pros starting in Ironman Kona this year. I'm going to give you their social medias, answer five questions. Are they a Kona rookie? Where they're from? Their age? How many full Ironman distance wins do they have? Not full distance races, only full Ironmans. And just a random fact about them to add a little bit of a human factor to it. All right, so without further ado, we have a lot to get through, so let's get started. Don't go anywhere yet. If you wanna hear more about Kona and all the other athletes that I'll be talking about in the next few videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. All right, I have a lot to get through, so let's get started. Right, first up, Cyril Vino. He is not a Kona rookie. He has come fifth at the World Championships before. He is a 39 year old from France. He has three full Ironman wins. And did you know, he once broke both of his legs, numerous ribs, and then came fifth in the Ironman World Championships that same year. The dude's crazy. Next up, Tim Van Berkel. Is he a Kona rookie? No, he's not. He has come seventh in the World Championship before. He is a 35 year old Australian, crazy Aussies. He has two full Ironman wins. And as a youngin, he played Australian rules football. I watched a YouTube video of that and I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'll just stick with my non-contact triathlon. Thank you very much though, Tim. Next up is TJ Tolakson. He is not a Kona rookie. He has come 20th in the world championship before. He is a 40 year old from the United States of America. He has one full distance Ironman win under his belt, and this is pretty wild. Do you know those bikes Diamond, D-I-M-O-N-D? He is the founder of that company. That is insane. Dude's smart. Next up, we have Andrew Starkwitz. He is not a Kona rookie. He has come 21st in the World Championships before. He is a 37 year old from the United States of America. He has one full Ironman win under his belt, and he is a crazy biker. He holds the fastest Ironman bike split in history at 354.59 at the 2018 Ironman Texas. I had to check my numbers because I don't want to upset him. People are very particular about seconds. Next up is Frank Silvestrin Souza. He is a Kona rookie, so good luck on the big island, Frank. He is a 37 year old from Brazil. He has zero full Ironman wins under his belt, but other wins, of course. And he's gonna be a dad soon. Congrats, Frank. Next up, we have Stefan Schumacher. I hope I pronounced that right. He is a Kona rookie as well, so of course, good luck. He is a 38-year-old German boy. He has zero full Ironman wins under his belt, but like I said, of course, some other wins. And he was a previous professional cyclist. He has two wins at the Giro d'Italia, and two wins at the Tour de France. Next up, we have David Pleese. He is not a Kona rookie. His best result is 21st at the Ironman World Championships. He is a 36-year-old from Slovenia. He has one full Ironman win under his belt, and he is also going to be a dad soon. So, congrats, David. I hope you get some sleep, buddy. Next up, we have Kenneth Peterson. He is also a Kona rookie, so good luck, Kenneth. He is a 33 year old American boy with zero full Ironman wins under his belt. He is pretty crazy, okay? He won his first ever triathlon, which was the Ironman 70.3 World Championships in St. George, Utah in 2014, 2015. And then that was his only race as an amateur. 
After that, he immediately turned pro and has been doing it since. So that is absolutely amazing. I'm very excited to see what he can do this year. We're rooting for you, Kenneth. All right, coming at you next is Lucas Kramer. His best result is 35th at the World Championships. He's a 35-year-old German boy with at least one full Ironman win under his belt. It said he's Ironman champion, but I couldn't find the exact number of races he has won. I tried, I promise, but this is something cool as well. He's a firefighter. Absolutely fantastic. All right, and last on our list for this video is Franz Loisch, ending off with a hard name. He is a Kona rookie, so good luck, Franz. He is a 30-year-old German boy with zero full Ironman wins under his belt, and he's really good at making carrot cake. Check this out. It looks pretty fantastic. I might have to copy the recipe. All right, and that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure you hit subscribe because there's going to be another one coming up tomorrow. Continuing on with this list, it's going to be a fun time. I'll leave the link to their Instagrams in the description down below. Make sure you go give them a follow. Hit the, the like on all their pictures. Just give them support. We need these pro triathletes to be in the sport for a long time. It's how our sport will grow. If the pros do well, we will do well. Everyone will do well. So make sure you do your best to support them. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, if you want to hear more about Kona, or if you want to hear more about triathlon, endurance sports, weight loss, all that good stuff mixed in with my goofy uh, personality, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be sharing lots of good knowledge from my noggin to your noggin. And I hope that you'll leave a few comments to share some of your knowledge noggins with my knowledge noggins. I don't know what that was, but thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit a like on this button and share it with someone else that you know is going to be wanting to hear about the pros. Thank you so much. Peace.